Hi guys, it's Miss Erig. Um, let's go ahead and get started. So I know on the picture on your paper that I printed, this part didn't come out very well, but you can see that it's just a continuation of the circle. Now, one of the things we didn't spend a whole lot of talk time talking about is when you have congruent chords. When you have congruent chords in a circle, the arcs that match up are the same measure. So see how that is 111? That means that this right here has to be 111. But to figure this out, we need this value. So I'm just going to take 360 and subtract 111, then 111 again, and then 89, and that's going to give me the value of that arc. which is 49. So now I know that this is 49. So then I just use my formula, big arc minus the small arc, which is 40, divided by two gives me 20 degrees for x. For this one, same thing. Here's 108. Here's 108 because those chords are the same. So this is inscribed Okay, because this is inscribed, all I need now is this arc right here. So I'm going to take my 360, subtract 108, subtract 108, and that's going to give us 144. So now I know that this value here is 144. Well, we know arc to angle, we divide by 2. So we've got 144 divided by 2 is 72, which is our angle measure. Okay, see you guys for the next question.